Hi, this is Shadi and today we're going back to 1974. So uh, this is a very important fight to look at because it is very evident how the world of judo has shifted in many ways and just to show you that a few decades ago the world of judo was a completely different universe rule set create different training methodologies and different expressions so the fight that we will see today is the all japan judo championship of 1974 it was the semi-final between sumio endo and nobuyuki sato two legends and let's start with the fight you're gonna see a very long sequence of newaza this is nobuyuki sato for those of you who don't know he trained Yasuhiro Yamashita, Olympic champion, and here is Sumiyo Endo, the man who injured Yasuhiro Yamashita with his Kani Basami. So, the fight uh, starts, it is 8 minutes as it is indicated on the screen, and here Sato goes for Sutemiwaza, but since the, I would say, the posture was not very much compromised, there was a mate called by the referee and also as uh, Endo stood up straight, meaning I will refuse to engage in Newaza and thus it was stopped. So here, here's another one and it was immediately stopped. Endo clearly heavier and lower center of gravity. Now here he grips the sleeve, immediately goes for Uchimata Makikomi. I don't know how that was not a Hanso Kumake. I need to look at the rules, so let's take a look at it again. He's trying to get the sleeve, the opposite sleeve or the lapel so he can shoot for a makikomi since he is right uh, handed but only he can have is the close arm goes for it again i don't know how that was not hanso kumake and i don't know how sato was not even injured gets the back so let me show you what he was actually trying to do this is another example of sumir and in another competition so here he actually has the sleeve cannot get the lapel and thus goes for Uchimata Makikomi. You see he was attacking the far arm, which is actually far safer because he wraps it around him rather than going for the outside arm, which causes the elbow to lock and actually just pop it off. So here he was actually gripping low on the lapel. Brilliant way to actually do it because a lot of people will just not give you a grip that easily especially with today's level so this kind of technique by today's standards is still very good if you can master it so he goes on the turtle and this is where the engagement in Newaza started and the referee does not do anything eight minutes goes a very long way so by the way look at the mats if you if you can bring those back and put some springs underneath them that will be very nice so Sato uh, I'm sorry uh, Endo gets back up again, refusing to engage in Newaza, so the fight is stopped here again. I don't know how that was not Hanso Kumake, one arm Sode, but gets Endo in a turtle position and Sato on the back, hunting for either the choke, the strangle, or the pin. And he tries to go for it by taking the pack, fully putting his hooks in. So he is here, he is trying to get double lapel grip because double lapel grip can easily allow you to take control of the shoulders and you can rotate particularly for Kuzure Kame Shihogatame and we'll see it in a little bit. So Endo is trying to create space by getting up so he can actually get back up like he did it previously but this will give Sato some room to actually sink his hooks in. So as a double edged sword here he's trying to put his hands in and his legs as well he tied the forearm and here you can see trying to get his hooks in and endo turns over he actually manages to turn him over double lapel grip and from it you can actually easily take the back in jujitsu it is done very often so he is have the arms trying to get a strangle trying to either get a turnover from here the double lapel grip but endo is too heavy and too much on his side and controlling one leg so he cannot kick him off his front side so he can pin him so controlling mole and keeping it close is actually beneficial and notice how the referee does not do anything by today's standards this have been stopped minutes ago 
but yet he is still letting it happen, still letting it engage, almost like the Kosen Judo fights, which I will cover shortly. I will analyze the this year's championship. So he's still on his back, on the hunt, trying to either uh, get the shoulders to the ground and he gets off his back, which pins him, but Endo is too much on his side and here eventually he tries to get up, tries to disengage, but Sato puts him back on the ground and tries to go again for the hunt. It's a very long sequence of Neiwaza trying to go for the back. Even in Jiu-Jitsu, hunting even for the rear naked choke after you have the back is a very long process. So here, double lapel, gripping the leg, and trying to get to the side, which is a very basic back escape. He gets the pin eventually, but turns those back again. This is what he was trying to do with the whole double lapel thing. So he gets the back, double lapel. He needs to kick him away from him, off the hips, or yes, from here underneath with the shoelace or the shin kicking the hamstrings which flattens him on his back and gets the pin this is what he was trying to do but obviously endo being one step ahead or knowingly or knows what sato was up to and then initially turtles as he goes with the motion because sometimes as they are flipping you turning you over you turn with them you over rotate you go back to the turtle and that's a very annoying thing to do but a Neiwaza master would know how to deal with these things, but Endo himself being very cautious and aware of what's going on, he will avoid it at all costs, especially when it comes to the All Japan, which was, and in my opinion, still is far more prestigious than Olympic Games. So um, here he is still going for it, double lapel. It's going nowhere. He gets his leg, you know, between his legs. The referee is still letting it happen just to show you what judo was like almost 50 years ago. So, and the fight still just goes like this. Endo is clearly struggling, trying to keep him off his back. And then finally time runs out. So eight minutes is a very long time. I obviously cut from it. There is a lot of stand up and also groundwork and I had to trim it for the sake of this video. So he is still going at it, get legs in and then turtles back again, trying to get up, but he's controlling one leg so he cannot actually stand up. It's a big risk. And then time actually runs out. And from there you have the Yusei Gachi or decision of the referees. And obviously the man who was in full control of the fight was Sato. Uh, in Neiwaza and in Tachiwaza he was far more offensive. Um, Endo had that one Hansokumaki uh, attempt, but uh, everything else it was in Sato's hand. He clearly controlled the fight. And he was declared the winner so another thing back then you can do with the double lapel obviously it's illegal since 19 i believe 16 it is dorochime so here you don't actually squeeze the ribs by straightening your legs but actually below which will actually squeeze the internal organs and the muscles asphyxiating you and finally i just want to say one of the best moments of my judo life or career was actually meeting nobuyuki sato Sensei, this was actually after the All Japan. I was just exhausted. It was a very long day and we met outside. We were underneath uh, in front of the building. It was pouring rain outside like crazy. He was very approachable, very uh, nice man. Everyone was talking to him, having a laugh, joking. And here he was, because there was so much rain, he was joking about putting a bag over his head and trying to go there, being very playful, very kind man. Um, very again just approachable and I'm very happy he, he he was very gentle with me and very kind and accepted to take uh, photos with me so it was a very very important moment in my judo life so 
um, if you have anything else to say about the rules, please let me know down below. There is some things about the old days that I really like. For example, a longer pin, a longer wait, a long, for example, the Wazari is 25 seconds while the pin is 30 seconds. Uh, maybe it can be 25 and 15 seconds, which is still okay because you need to be given some time to craft the escape. Escapes from pins is not an easy thing to do and and that's another thing that a lot of people do not understand is after an explosive stand-up battle and going into golden score and such getting pinned is just absolutely exhausting and it will kill you from the stand-up which is explosive and kills your cardio suddenly having someone all on top of you it's not easy that's why most people give up but i would say if you give them that if you give them that 10 more seconds maybe they will change their minds and actually fight it and try to get out of it but uh, 20 seconds and 10 seconds actually is just a wazari it's, it's too short in my opinion so maybe a longer pin like the all japan today at 25 seconds is a little bit better it will give you that you know ah, okay i have more time i can actually fight for it um i also like you know not golden scores and going into Yusei Gachi is better and um, Dr. Roddy Ferguson had a good argument for it he says that a lot of people sometimes get uh, against stallers and defensive people and they know how to not get penalized and then they end up dragging the fight into golden score and they're really good fighters but she was sheer exhaustion as they get into finals rounds um, sometimes because of this exhaustion you do not see the full potential of the fighter the full potential of the event and sometimes you know they win just or lose out of sheer exhaustion so you say gachi it will keep the fighters fresh obviously four minutes is not the right time like maybe five or even six minutes with you say gachi is okay because a lot of the time you need more referees to decide because some people just really know how to stall or win by shidos which is the most annoying thing on the planet but like this i would appreciate that you say gachi and also longer pins uh now when it comes to newaza this type of format personally if it's not going anywhere it should be stopped personally that's what i think um or just go to kosen judo which is something i will cover pins throws and submissions i found the championships and i will share them with you so if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening